Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, on this video I'm doing a bit of uh, experimenting, let's say. Um, I'm on a quest to find something that's uh, a little bit cheaper than hexamine blocks that I can use in the bush box stove. Um, hexamine blocks cost me around about £5.25 for eight blocks, uh, that's with postage. Okay, so my first thought was um, to, to use the old kind of trick with the candle candle wax with um, some makeup cotton pads. Uh, most of you are aware that you can uh, dip these in cotton, break them up, fluff them up and they make excellent fire starters. So I want to do a bit of experiment to see how long they last. Um, can they boil water? How many does it take to boil water, etc, etc. Uh, I've got some, uh, it says non-smoking, non-polluting, odourless, 100% natural. These are, these are fire starters from Poundland. Now, if you've watched my videos recently, I've been using the long kind of uh, blocks that you light the paper and let it burn. I've been cutting that down into pieces and using that in the bush box. But I wanted to try these out. So I'm going to try and use these to melt the wax. I've also got some uh, pyrotechnic fuse wire and some magnesium. So the first thing I want to do is smash, uh, smash this up and use some of these in the bush box. I've got it all set up here with a windbreak around it. Uh, an old tin that I've just squeezed to give it a little bit of a spout uh, and then melt the wax in there and then I can dip the pads in. What I've done is just put my candle in a bag. I'm just gonna smash it up a little bit. Basically just to get it into smaller chunks so it melts easier. Try and not obliterate it too much so there's nothing left. That'll do. There's the wick, we don't need that. Okay, so I've put some uh, some candle wax in the uh, in the tin. I'm just gonna use a lighter to start these. I think it's just uh, like compressed cardboard, that kind of thing. So really I want to just see how much this um, this sucks the outside of this tin up first because I may use this as a as a primary as a you know primary source of fuel if it's any good. I don't think it's the easiest stuff to light in the world. So let's get that in there. Feels a little bit waxy. Right, so the uh, the wax is fully melted. I'm just going to take that off and put it to one side and let that burn out. Right, so as I said on the beginning of the video, I've, I've been gifted a load of this uh, pyrotechnic fuse wire. Um, for those of you that are not aware what it is, it's basically what you start fireworks, what's in fireworks to start the firework off. So that's how they burn. If I let that go of that now it will shoot off. That's how quick it burns. So it's fairly ferocious stuff. So as a bit of an experiment, I'm just going to put some in some water. And try and light it. doesn't really like being lit when it's wet so we'll uh, we'll leave that and come back to it and see if it lights when it dries out right okay so they're all dry now these are the single pad ones just move some of them out of the way they're the double pad ones and obviously these two are the ones with uh, 
the fuses in them. So what I'm going to do is just rough this up and I want to see how long it burns for. Some of them fibres going on in there. get a spark to it and see how we go. Right we're going to transfer that into the into the stove. So that's in the stove. I just want to see how long this will actually go for so I've got the stopwatch. start that going and uh, let's just see how long one will burn for then I'll try just one of the single ones and try and boil some water and we'll take it from there so let's uh, while we're waiting for that let's just see if this will actually light now it's dried out no it still doesn't like being lit. No. So that's uh, so this idea may be all right if if they kept dry. If they're wet, then you'll just have to rough them up in the usual way. But we'll uh, we'll get to that. So we're on. Uh, 1 minute and 19 seconds at the moment now to boil water generally takes me with a hexamine block about 5 minutes ok so it's literally just burnt out it was 4 minutes and 33 so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to put 500 mils of water in my pot that's about 500 um, I'm using this stainless steel pot because it's nice and clean so I can see how much it actually sucks up uh, this pot so I'll break another one up these are just again these are the uh, the single pads so four minutes 33 seconds for the single pads let's get this one going I don't think four minutes is going to be enough to boil water There we go, that one's going. Stick that one in there. And then we'll get the pot on and see if it can boil some water. That one only lasted 3 minutes 11 seconds. It's got the water tepid, it's not boiled it. So a single one won't do it. Let's just tip that water away. Right, so with the same amount of water again in a cold pot, 500 mils. I'm going to try one of these double ones. So this is two pads together. Let's see what the burn time's like on that. Again, just fluffing it up. So this is the double one now, in theory should burn for, for longer. Let's see how that one performs. The double pads are coming up for five and a half minutes almost and it's still going pretty strong. And we've got some bubbles forming and it's considerably hotter than just the single ones. So what I'm going to do is keep going and just put another one on before the last one dies out and see how long it actually takes to, to get it to a rolling boil with these double ones. 
Okay guys, so we've just come up for 10 minutes. We have got a rolling boil in there. And it's taken two of the double ones. Um, yes, it has sort of it up, but it's easily wipe, wipeable that. So I'm not too concerned about that really. Uh, so yeah, it is giving off soot, which I did uh, which I did expect it to do. So let's just get rid of this water. So 11 minutes, it's still in and it's boiled the water. Right, so we're on the next phase of experimentation. So these are just single pads with the fuse wires in them. Uh, I've roughed, I've kind of opened this one up so it's got a fighting chance and this one's just closed pretty much and sealed. So what I'm gonna do, go with the easy one first. Let's see if the fuse can actually light the pad. My eyesight's terrible. Well, that's not even hit the end of it. No, it's fizzling out, you see, before it's, uh, before it's getting a chance to ignite. No, it's, uh, it's not getting in deep enough to light it. So, fuse wire is a no-go. Right, so that brings all the experimentation to an end. Um, I've managed to get 16 double ones out of the remaining uh, candle wax that, that was there. Uh, 16 double ones and one, two, three, four, five, six single, single ones, all still useful. Um, so yeah, so price comparison, two quid for that and the candle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight, eight boils, if you like, put, to put it that way. Eight boils for two quid as opposed to hexamine, which is five quid for eight boils. So uh, yeah, I think I'll be, uh, I think I'll be going with this. Um, yeah, it does suck the pots. I can live with that. Uh, certainly something I wouldn't use in the levee if you've seen that video uh, where I sorted it all up using um, an alternative fuel source. Yeah, so I won't be using it for that, but as far as boiling water and, and that kind of thing, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a good cheap alternative and they can also be broken up and used as just a normal fire starter. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. A little bit of a little bit of a, a kind of entertaining one, this one really. Uh, just a quick disclaimer. If you're gonna muck about with stuff like this, uh, just be aware that it can be dangerous. Um, I've tried all kinds of things over the last few days with it. The problem is, is with it that it burns very, very rapidly. Uh, which fuse wire inherently does, uh, but we will find another another use for it. I'm, I'm sure I'll come up with something for it. Um, maybe we'll have to make some fireworks. Right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Please like and subscribe. Press the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time I upload to YouTube. If you're thinking about giving me a thumbs down, go to the shop, buy yourself something nice, come back in a better mood. You can see there. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments as always guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.